Greg Kincaid's novel A Dog Named Christmas, published in 2008, initiates a series revolving around the titular canine companion. Adapted into a Hallmark movie in 2009, the book offers a heartwarming and straightforward narrative, often prompting speculation from readers about its target audience, with some questioning if it was intended for a younger demographic. Spanning several weeks, the story unfolds the profound impact a remarkable dog has on the family that welcomes him into their home, as well as the special bond formed between the intellectually disabled young man and animals. The prologue introduces Jake, a dog previously owned by the Connor family, who describe him as headstrong and possessing an almost magical ability to find the family most in need of his presence. Despite this, Jake has since run away from the Connors. The narrative then shifts focus to George McRae and his tight-knit family. A fourth-generation farmer and a Vietnam War veteran, George cherishes his stable life and dislikes disruptions. His wife, Mary Ann, a dedicated high school English teacher, serves as the family's anchor. Together, they raise five adult children, Jonathan, a content carpenter, Ryan, reserved and introspective, Thomas, known for his humor and mischief, recently divorced Hannah, and Todd, the youngest at 20, who has an intellectual disability but excels in caring for animals, a valuable trait for a farmer. During one Christmas season, Todd discovers a local animal shelter's unique initiative on the news, a program encouraging families to temporarily foster shelter dogs during the holidays, hoping they will form lasting bonds. The novel portrays this idea positively, without exploring the potential stress on the dogs involved in these temporary placements, presenting it as a heartwarming concept. Initially resistant and skeptical, George opposes the idea of bringing a dog into their already bustling farm life, citing the farm's busy nature. However, through Todd's persistent and patient efforts, he eventually persuades his father. At the shelter, Todd forms a strong connection with a black Labrador mix named Jake, whom the McRae family decides to adopt. Renamed Christmas by Todd, the dog quickly wins over the family with his endearing qualities. Despite Christmas's charm, George remains aloof, a stance rooted in his wartime experiences. Having lost his beloved dog Tucker while serving overseas and forming a deep bond with a dog named Good Charlie, who sacrificed herself to save him during the war, George is hesitant to open his heart to another pet, fearing the pain of loss. In a seemingly selfish act, George disrupts the family's joyful Christmas dinner to announce that Christmas will be returned to the shelter after the holidays. However, as George observes Todd's growth and the positive impact of caring for a dog on his son, he begins to soften. Witnessing Todd's newfound sense of responsibility and maturity, George realizes the profound effect Christmas has had on their family dynamic. Inspired by Todd's initiative, George, Todd, and their new friend Haley Donaldson, the head of the Cherokee County Animal Shelter, launch a campaign to encourage the community to foster shelter dogs during the holidays. Through Todd's compassion and determination, George witnesses his son's special qualities shine, bringing him joy and pride. The dog adoption experiment, initially intended as a lesson for Todd, ultimately serves as a catalyst for George's healing, helping him confront his past traumas and embrace the potential for a brighter future by letting go of lingering pain and embracing new beginnings. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.